There's a lot of solid carbide drills in the field, but today we're going to be talking about steel drills and how there's still a market. So Dave, this is your new product, your AeroX drill. Again, why has it been developed? Um, we have a massive range of high-speed steel uh, jobber length drills. And uh, we, 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 we felt we'd got a bit of a gap in that range between our standard 605, which is a 5% cobalt drill designed specifically for tit uh, titanium and stainless steel and the likes. And then right at the very other the end of that, we had a, um, a, a tool, a 1146, which was designed for machining in canal has to lie in mm -hmm. And we thought that something in the middle there would be ideal for uh, a lot of handheld applications and things like that. Okay, so you're seeing handheld, probably aerospace is the key market, yeah, as I mean, the name it, would suggest, I guess. Absolutely. Aerospace. I mean, it was initially designed for that, and it's used. It's, we've had some great successes now in aircraft um, um, manufacture, but also in aircraft uh, repair work as well. A lot of a lot of the repair work is actually probably bigger in some cases than the, than the, uh, the actual manufacturer of it. So um, it's been designed. There was numerous different attempts before, and you know, which one was involved in the early days, and uh, before we came along with what we thought was the the the, the optimum uh, geometry. And I personally used it, and it works really well as well. It, it, it's, it's a strange colour. Is that a temper or a coating? Yeah. No, it's, it's, more, it's more of a temper. It's a bit like a, a, a steam treatment would be mm -hmm. from that, having the dark effect as it would be. Uh, it's really just to differentiate it between a, 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 a non aero x drill. So it works well. It's cobalt when it's on the shop floor, then you're aware of the mm -hmm. difference between a cobalt tool and then maybe a high speed steel or whatever. Is it purely the tempo or has the geometry been changed as well? The, the, the geometry is a lot. I mean, it's, there's a lot of work being paid uh, towards the geometry to assist. Um, obviously, you've got a much more reduced um, um, actual forces mm -hmm. so that if you're from a handheld application, it's the ease of cut when you're, you're drilling. You can drill a larger diameter hole in one hit without drilling a small hole first, mm -hmm. following up with a large hole. Okay, that's great for handheld applications, but mm. if we were to put this on a CNC machine tool, yep. you know, do you still sell them in that application or, or are most people going towards carbide now? Well, the majority of people on the carbide, but it still does benefit in a lot of low power machines, areas where you've got um, 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 maybe some reach issues where you're going to put that into an extension, extension or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, or in, in, in areas where you've got a lot of flimsy work or whatever and solid carbide might vibrate and cause issues with the carbide itself. So obviously so more forgiving. Sure, say. yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Going, you're a drilling company, aren't you? Well, you do lots of things, but mm -hmm. you you must have more ranges of, of drills than any other manufacturer probably now. Yeah, yeah. So again, you've put you've put this in. Does that mean a, 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 another range is going to disappear? Is this are you putting two or three ranges into this? Uh, no, as, as I said right at the beginning, realistically, we just felt it was a gap within the range itself. So we're equally selling as many of the 605 as we are with that. But what this has given us now, it's just given us another, 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 another club in the bag mm -hmm. that if we've got any situation like that, we can pull this out and try that. And it's worked well. And there's obviously a geometry specific to a material. Mm -hmm. It's a general purpose drill, but what does it work best in? Well, you, you, you're absolutely right. To be fair, you can use it in, 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 in the, the mild steels and you can go from there. But you can also equally use it in the, the heat resistant materials as well. Mm -hmm. um, but as I say, because it's, it's, it's ideally suited with a thinner web, it's, it, there is better tools at the top end of the range if you're then to, it literally just has to loin harmonic and the like. Mm -hmm. And this is 8% cobalt? It's 8% cobalt. Uh, the whole range are. Uh, they're available in sets as well. We do two, a couple of sets within the range. And um, the largest diameter we do is 13 millimeter, the smallest is one. Mm -hmm. So there we are. If you're doing any drilling, it's certainly of a handheld application or CNC, speak with the guys at Gooing.